BLG back into the Jovi. pit. Jovi tagged up the winner's bite. There's the draw, and they want to go after Jovi. They force the ulti back out of the light, but BLG's health bars are looking bad. Guardian Angel's going to come out there from Shun, but Gen G are camping the body. They take him down, and Jovi gets the credit. Pays flashes in. He wants the damage on Dawn, but he can't quite find it. Dawn likely to drop here next as Pays goes to the killing spree. Ben tries to fight back. Delight is down. They're going after Jovi again. El looks for the reset. He's trying to cut the space. The Rockets are ready to go! He's excited! Oh! And he just can't fight it! Shun, though, wants to make sure Caps gets punished. He's done this already. Shun's already found one solo kill, forces the flash early. Steel Tempest slowly being charged, support's coming from on as well as uh, Bin. Caps will slide backwards once more. Use oh, the minions to help out. I want you to take note of what Elk is about to. Well, what is about to happen here, right? Because Bin gets the flank. You get the flash. You have control of the river. You're fine. Your old misses. Any kill forces into a Jenna tornado. Immediately gets taken down. Broken Blade is more than ready for that. I want to shout out Mickey's Jenna that he's been mm -hmm. playing as well. Really big in stuffing a lot of these plays. Yeah. Stuffing your guys, Ari. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> threatening the ghost, threatening the apprehend. Teleporting channels. Broken Blade. Jun will get a target. Gets caught out by that Winter's Bite. And we have a pause. <laughs> a very dramatic pause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, London. I will not accept that. Nobody in London would be booing BLG, right? Right? No, no, I'm not asking for it, you fools. I'm not asking for it. <laughs> Red White has just timed out before the dragon fight. Yikes stepping forward. Level 9 was all out thrown. Heartbreaker away. Big fight. G2 Esports with one potential last <laughs> shot remaining. Like here, you see Al's solution. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, he... Oh, oh, I'm oh. the tidal wave. Oh. Oh. He wants to go swimming. What are you saying? <laughs> oh, swim back to Berlin. He's <laughs> not even oh, away. No. <laughs> that looks really fun. Can, yeah. can I have no, some for tomorrow? For Cloud9. Cloud9. I would say Berserker was a T1 Academy 80 carry. So he's basically That's just Guma. true. He's Guma, but younger, so that's good. Uh, you're looking mm. at the mid lane. A lot of people say Chovy versus MNS is going to be lopsided. If you don't watch LCK, Chovy's not that great. And we're not in LCK <laughs> right now. So Peanut versus Blabber as well. He's the greatest NA jungler of all time. He's also on Cloud9, who's the greatest North American international team of all time. And this is probably the best Cloud9 has ever been. So they could win. They're going to win a Masai Kobe. <laughs> Fudge may be in a bit of danger here as Chovy has made his way over. Peanut on his way as well. Fudge's ultimate will connect. Onto door and the flash comes out, but he has tower aggro oh, as well. Oh, fudge. Oh, the whole oh, oh Ben, what are you doing there? Looking for another full on fight. Spotted. Doran, you can see, just sort Peek of boo. totally fine with this. He doesn't care who he's staring down. No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. You're fine. Hold it. Yep, it's a YOLO play from Cloud9. You only live once, they might not be living very long. Right, looking for the angle, his punch goes over the wall, but Sven under pressure, Flabber barely escapes, it's flashed over the wall aggressively. Okay, C9 pink, blue, Azale, what do they do? Oh god, uh, oh. I mean, uh, and Nidalee's gonna be the first one to group. But Genji, oh Doran, you need to be careful. Fudge coming in, Doran, nice body, Slayer oh. flashes away oh. back underneath the turret, survives with just what had to be 20 health. Oh! Doing shuriken! Yeah, you can, uh, see. <laughs> yeah, you can see the reaction. Oops. Fudge is going to have to have the game of his life. He has got a big advantage over Doran, isolated, but he's going to have to bring that to the rest of the... Oh, oh. Uh, oh no! Kobe, I think that might have been one of the greatest caster curses of all time. Fudge is down to just 50 health. Doran continuing to chase. Body slam forward. He takes a big old swig. He tags Fudge, and Doran gets the solo kill. Oh my god, they killed Kennen. Okay, Blabber doesn't have kick anymore. Uh, Peanut trying to go in for this 1v1. Backs away, waiting for the cooldowns here yet again. Blabber hanging around, oh. tries to go for the skill check, and he gets rocked. Peanut picking up number three. Meanwhile, back in the top lane, Berserker's calling nothing. And Doran throws out a barrel and ready to pop him over the head. He doesn't quite have the distance. Doran overcommits. Not only does Chovy have the bounty with two kills on his head, he's got 183 CS at 16 minutes.
He's Chovying. <laughs> Baron is on the table, and Gen G have total control Yay. over the top side. River, Doran having to go catch their side wave here. Oh, Chovy immediately jumping out of the brush with the Super Mega Death Rocket coming down, but it won't connect on any targets. Cloud9 managed to escape, but that's about it. It did cost the cleanse <laughs> out of Berserker. Such a great flash from Fudge. Chovy's looking for more. Chovy wants Berserker. He nearly gets him. He does get him. It's a clean ace. Then Chovy says, I'm not done with you yet. Get right back here. Q through all of them. Oh, and I think even an auto attack is actually oh. what executed Berserker. And they made it! <laughs> We've done it! <laughs> Surely gonna buy them some space and some priority here. Another hook is going Another to connect. One. A second one going to come through onto 369. Lenton comes out yet again. Anything but either a Braum or Zayas. Another hook from Faker. Immediate cleanse from Ruler there, though. It's like he didn't Another get CC'd one. from that passive. But another one comes through. Carrier is gonna land his own. They're just one upping one another here. Zayas underneath the turret. He finds the Q onto missing. And everyone's another gonna sail one. up. And now the max range hook from Faker. Bakers, they that... take down the turret, but it trades for Baker's life. Another hook's going to connect because, of course, all of them do. But T1, they have lost one, and Carrier misses that hook there, so I guess they're human. But didn't actually find Ruler, so he was able to just continue with the oh, damage. Oh, there it is. Here's the advantage. Oh, oh never mind, and he'll take the land to safety. They were trying to get backline access, but because JDG identified as start the fight, immediately take down the fresh. Take a TP. Yeah, he can just come immediately towards this one, and that's I don't think that's going to be much of an option. JDG, four of them are up and available. Reset. Super Mega Death Rocket is going to be blocked. That's Gumushi trying to get those autos oh, in. Baker. Can they keep it alive? Faker is going to turn up, and there it is. <laughs> Game two goes to T1. Seeing <laughs> how he's going to feel after this game. Because JDG could be at match point. There's actually a significant amount of warding in the topside jungle from JDG, trying to make sure that. I you have to think he's going to look. Kanavi is down here. They're going to go, almost certainly. Oh, man. Kamushi doesn't know. Is there's the grand entrance immediately to flash. On the Jinx, getting those two kills. Oh, now they're just oh. bearing down on him in the middle. He's going to come forward as Faker turns up. Oh, man, that hook. It's Speaking Faker, of picks, yeah, Faker in a whole lot of trouble. Carrier going to have to use his devout. The oh. Nautilus, he just gets thrown around, flashes away. The grand final is on the line. Can T1 stay undefeated in non-finals? Or will it be JDG successfully? Could be in trouble. Nature's Grasp not going to find too much value. And now the re-engage is going to come forward. It's a huge knockback on a Gamushi who stays alive for so long. Not sure how that happened, but now it's Ruler that is just Zayas? free hitting. Zayas is massive in this fight. That's true. Fake it somehow manages to curve the anchor. And it's a double kill now for Zayas. But oh. the re-engage is JK. put in our game to make sure that Ruler can just win. Yeah. And honestly... And we had a special graphic made to uh, support our claims. Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay. And you can see how confident they are. Yagao gets a nice stun onto Doran, but Yagao underneath oh, the turret. Yeah. This is He's trouble dead. for Yagao. Doran should pick this one up, no problem. Oh, he missed! Oh. Away. No! No, Doran messed it up! Full waves the Elf would lose, so BLG are not willing to have that happen. Bin trading well on that top side. But yeah, I mean, it was Delight that started it all up. Bin. Oh, he flashed in! Bin puts him in the bin! All right. Bin could be in some trouble here. Trying to fight it off in a 1v2, but so much burst from Peanut oh. and from Doran. I don't know what the flash was, was for. That was terrible flash. And then close the gap and throw out the ultimate again. Gets a quick kill. <laughs> the Jinx is close enough to assist, but the Jinx is not close enough that he can actually be engaged upon. Um, so really well played. Oh, the Herald's actually aggroing Timbers and chasing. I've never seen that before. Yeah, that that's was wonky. Interesting. Shelly well, just full chase that thing. Almost actually died before charging. Given the pace of the game, it really does feel like it's just going to be about dragon fights. It's just going to be about setting up those objectives <laughs> <laughs> for this one team fight. Me over the wall. Shun looking for oh, trouble. Oh, Timbers is dropped and it doesn't accomplish anything. BLG demonstrating how strong the LPL is when it comes to team fighting. Doran oh. sidestepping <laughs> Finn. Uh. Talk to me about what happens, guys. So basically you end up with this big Braum ultimate that comes through. It works out really, really well. And oh then God. at that stage where, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, Gal's gonna come, they're gonna try to kill him though. Q flash right now. Boom, there it is. They engage on Peanut. Oh. Oh. Of course, a lot of damage comes down onto Bin initially. Keep your eyes on on here. 
is able to connect the hook. Oh! oh. <laughs> Number one seed from the LCK. On goes in. He tries to find the flash hook. What a tense fight once again. Pays will take damage. Pays trying to get away from this. Oh. There's such low. Oh. The shutdown. Back oh. and forth. The marksmen are all dead. Peanut grabs the kill. He's down to 150. Ben wants to get him. On. On's looking for Peanut here. They want to get this enemy jungler. Ben coming around to stop oh. him. There's the grab. Kaboom. It's over. It's done. BLG's won. The clean ace. The LBL faithful erupt here in London. They were killing the Nexus, and Tabe is already sprinting <laughs> across stage to jump into the arms of his players. It was, uh, it was really great. Ben has actually continued his run this tournament. Yeah. Um, and thank you, G Sun. We're gonna jump into some of those team fights oh, as no. we see. These AD carries are so safe. Whoa, hold on. We are gonna get a face trying to burn through carry. A carry has no defensive tools of his own, but he might just make it out of safety. Oh, oh Shinzo, baby! And just make sure that this Ken is gonna be huge. Rocket connecting. Oh, maybe we're saving a little bit. We're immediately gonna find the snare. Polymorphed and forced back. Ulti coming in. Good Ooh. damage on the Elk and he snipes him. Here it is. That's what we're talking about. It's an ult shot for a zap shot. That minion just betrayed him. Yeah. It just walked out of the way. He said, nah, I'm good. I see Carrier was thinking about going for something on the top of his He's locked up under the tower. Ben trying to fire back. Oh, I just 1v1s him. What? Let me see the beginning of that. <laughs> see, it's maybe overconfident. Minion wave. Look at this minion wave. Oh, he walked into it. He, he yeah. pressed Q. He walked. Yeah, walked into it. <laughs> um, Doggy, you mentioned the Lulu polymorphin Yoink. possibilities there. <laughs> Welcome back to MSI 2023. Ben calling his shots. But here we oh. go. <laughs> Puma responding. Blast going in. Jump out. For an angle. Got to take this one away. He gets oh, it! Oh, Zeus is walking the long way around. Top lane, here he comes. Ooh, here comes the engage. Carry, not gonna make it over the wall, though. That's disastrous. Three, three, Gal. Jumping in, Takers, he clutch 50. Big hook, anticipating the flash. We want to send him over there with some damage and see if your team can make anything happen. And obviously a pretty simple kill there for Faker, but good that they are able to get that one back. That hook, that hook from Yago, if it hit, could have been devastating for T1, but Faker flashes forward, Elk. Just gets behind the minion in time. Soul point for the side of BLG. T1 have to fight oh, this. Oh, okay, all <laughs> right. And you see it here. Ult from Yago is dodged by Kuma Yushi. Yep, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the best spots. I'm sorry, I'm still laughing at the camera angle. You're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> BLG looking for an angle to deny the jungler into the pit, but a lot of members out now might even give him a better avenue. The stun now coming in. They're looking to keep the fight going. They're looking to take Bin out. Shun waiting over the wall. The Baron has been stopped. Can they take the fight? Zeus now going in on the Shun, leaping back right over the wall. The shutdown is huge on the Bin, and BLG might have just thrown everything away. Absolute patience in the face of disaster. The flip of a coin could just decide it all, and it comes up heads for BLG. The first time at an international event, we will see an all LPL finals. <laughs> and you can see Tafe. Today, we only have one tactic. We win bot lane, we win the game. I think this time, JDG will fear us. As we look at Tafe again, who I don't yeah. know how he's going to have energy tomorrow, but I'm sure he'll find he'll. it. And, <laughs> and luckily, he went to the right side immediately. It was like 10 seconds from the game ending. Yes, look the at the ref. Yeah. Way too early. <laughs> I wonder if, I mean, <laughs> that is the best. Are you ready for Kika Bean? Zeus is in the pile now, too, I guess. <laughs> but this does not tell the story of the LPL, like does, we does said. It? They have actually oh. launched into each other. <laughs> they know BLG like the back. Of their hands. Oh, Night, no, no flash, no okay? No flash, the TP coming in. It's gonna be another second channel time. Gets knocked back, no stun connects. Shun still looking for the chase, flash forward. Twisted advance, and now Knight is surrounded by BLG, the explosive cast. Oh. And Knight will not be found healed in the final moments to keep him alive through the unleashed power. And now Elk is just standing with a massive Gragas in his face. And JDG, punish! Is just quicker than their walking speed, but your walking speed is slower than their speed as we see Elk trying to look for Ruler. 
You can jump over a rocket, it seems. I've seen that happen in Valorant before. It's their ability just to act as a bodyguard. No. Nope. He's going to try and stop the recall here, but the shield from missing. The AD carries ultimate out, and BLG call for the engage. Stepping forward, Knight locked up. He does still have the flash to get away. He can get to the blast gun as well. The twisted about for locking down a knight. Once again, the Zonya's buying him a second, but is it enough? It's not. Big jump there onto Kanavi. Vin moves in, pops his W, hits his ultimates here. All of his ultimates on Ruler. Oh. Ruler just, oh, got, he wow. just got needlework to death. That he used his ultimate in the top. You have the momentum from beating Gen G, from beating oh. T1. Oh. Oh. Obviously, we're on the team together and on from the side. <laughs> Come hey, on! Don't man. talk to my AD carry like that. <laughs> jealous, <laughs> jealous of the X. <laughs> but again, a much more controlled play as they go for the fight. Glacier Prison's gonna hit, and immediately your cow is just you're gone. Trying to heal, trying to get away. Elf doing the same. He has the flash, has the cleanse. Will use it to escape the decimating smash. But on cannot do that, and he's turned off. Bin now put in the trash. All the BLG are, have been able to hope to get in this game. Well, over the steal. He's literally just jumping in by himself to oh. try and take it. And Bin secures it. Now he needs to be careful. A Shun ulti not available just yet. Does he need to Knight be careful? In. Immediately Shun loses half his health. Yigao trying to come in from the side as well as Knight dies forward. And the Mana Moon A Eclipse combo is just too much. To do it once again, missing going forward. The hook onto On not going to be too much, but there's good poke from Knight. And now in the bottom lane, JDG are pushing in to open up the base. Mid lane for 369. The rest of JDG down towards the bottom side. That inhibitor tower already down to 10% HP as Kanavi goes for the engage. And Shun is just lost. Up and JDG are the five fingers of Knight's golden left hand, and they will claim the prize that was promised. JDG, your MSI champions. Oh, really happy birthday, Knight. <laughs> but they might not be as good as they are domestically, and I look at him feeling happy.